The headquarters of Irish Rail, or Erin Road Erin, the railway arm of Corus Umper Erin, is located in the office buildings of Dublin's Connolly Station. The grand red brick building was built by the Great Northern Rail. Our locomotive is the last built member of the 18-strong 071 class introduced in 1977, and our driver for the first leg is George Dunn, based at Connolly Shed. On the right is another of the multiple units used on the non-electrified commuter services, whilst to the left can be seen the overhead wires for the Dublin Area Rapid Transit, or DART. Our train consists of a generator car and six coaches, the first of which... Now, there was once, incidentally, a large station here, the main line leading on to the Midlands' badly placed Dublin terminus of Broadstone. The railway now follows the course of the Royal Canal all the way to Mullingar. George sounds a warning just ahead of Broombridge Station, dating from 1990. Incidentally, the Broadstone Terminus, it was always referred to as the Broadstone for some reason. Frankenstown level crossing has now gone. One effect of the railway running along the canal bank was that there were crossings over the railway wherever there were crossings or locks on the canal. The signal man collects the electric train staff released with the cooperation of the signal man at Edgewardstown. The starting signal cannot be unlocked without this token. The box still controls the junction as, although the Athlone and Galway line lost most of its traffic in 1973, it remained officially in use, but only for engineers' trains. All its signalling and track remained in place until October 2003, when the double track junction a double slip and a single slip point were all removed as the first part of the rationalisation scheme. Now there's just a single facing point into the old up Galway platform and a passing loop on the Sligo line. Curiously, the modernisation involved the erection of new semaphore signals pending the mini CTC scheme's installation.